I just liked going to the movies, and eventually when I had to think of something to do, I wanted to be a filmmaker. That's all I wanted to do. I, didn't, I wasn't interested in live performance at all. In 1970, I got a Super 8 camera, and I was working with the Cunningham Company. I used to take it around on a tour with me and just film things in my motel room at night and picnics and just home movies of the company on tour. We applied for money to make a, a film, and we didn't get it, so I just went ahead and made a film of my own. In the course of 10 years, we made 10 projects. One of the advantages of working my situation is I didn't have to worry about the next piece, because the dance company was going to support it, so I didn't have to the way that most people have to hawk their current piece to death and then, then do the next piece. I didn't, wasn't involved in showing it at all. I just made it, which was more fun. Gabriel talked to me about doing a show. At the beginning, there was no idea what the show would be, but just a show of my work. I think based on the fact that I had done a big a projection on a service of a building in Chicago, he thought he'd always wanted someone to do something on the wall in Pioneer Works. I would love to film some of his choreography, because all of his choreography stays in one place. It's perfect for the... Right, the, so it's all right. I mean, it's all, they don't move very much. Right, so you can almost have like all of them in, in the window, so you have like... I mean, up. I was thinking that this piece is maybe going to be a little bit dance heavy. I've worked on it for about a year, throwing out a lot of things that didn't work. And it wasn't until August, a month before the show, that I started to put things together and still never n knew exactly what it meant or what it was going to communicate. And then when I finally saw the piece, I realized that it was like a portrait of my brain and the way it works. Since ancient times, mankind has hotly debated whether mathematics was discovered or invented. Did we create mathematical concepts to help us understand the universe around us, or is math the native language of the cosmos? The interludes are, there's three of them that kind of divide up the main sections of the video, and they each summarize pretty profound scientific, neurological, quantum physics theories that are like trippy and psychedelic and like kind of mind-boggling. They all like kind of tie together these different things that Charlie's thinking about, which is like mathematics and consciousness and the universe and the cosmos and how all of these things are kind of interconnected, but are they all created by the mind or do they exist? What is memory? And I think Charlie too, kind of looking back at his career and his life, these things all become very present. As much as it's about these unknowns or cerebral or internal, you know, his thinking, it always goes back to the body. He's always interested in movement and people. The stage, which is this 
three-dimensional grid-like form structure is then sort of broken up, intersected with javelins and these gradient light panels, and then the two hands with the acupuncture hole pattern, introducing entropy or chaos into this space. That's also, I think, goes back to like Charlie rupturing what performance could be or what the format of something could be. All those things sort of like start to like expand and contract. In grade school, I was really good in math and science, but I never pursued it. I pursued the things that were more elusive and less logical, but now I'm more interested in the other end of the spectrum, and I wish I had pursued it a little more then. I really am, at this point in my work, I'm interested in what's real, the reality of the universe.